Welcome back, everybody. Today, as promised, I'm going to be talking about lien subordination, which is super popular right now because a lot of people are refinancing their homes or purchasing their homes thanks to low interest rates and a hot real estate market. However, some people are discovering during these processes that they cannot get the, the deal closed because the IRS has placed a lien against them. That generally happens when you have a tax debt that you haven't addressed in a timely fashion. You may even have an installment place in place, but it just happened too late and the IRS went ahead and slapped a lien against you. And people who are trying to loan you money don't like that because that means the IRS takes priority over them. So what can we do? Well, there is a process called lien subordination in which we would request the IRS kind of steps to the side, kind of just puts their lien to the side and allows the other financer to get in front and become the priority so that we can get the deal closed. Now, it is a process, however, and you have to convince the IRS that it's in its best interest that we do this. So actually, a really popular one that is generally approved by the IRS is a cash out or a cash out refinance, okay, where you are refinancing the house in order to take some of the equity out of the home or even HELOCs if you're trying to get a home equity line of credit because the IRS is anticipating you are taking that money to pay them for it. Not only are you getting a lower interest rate and maybe a lower mortgage, but you're taking that money and you're paying off your tax debt. However, the problem that we have is people generally do not find out about this until it's too late. They're in the middle of underwriting and then they call me and ask for a lien subordination and I can't do it. There's no way I'm going to be able to do that in a, in a timely fashion because under normal circumstances, when I send in a lien subordination application, the IRS promises that they will assign somebody to it, a lien subordination coordinator within 30 days. And that's under normal circumstances. The IRS on COVID is a jacked up hot mess and everything is taking longer. So if you are thinking you're going to do any kind of cash out refinancing, if you think you're going to be doing any kind of home purchasing, you really need to be making sure that the IRS doesn't have a lien on you. And you, if you owe the IRS money at all, you need to double check that and make sure that isn't the case. Because if it is, and we know soon enough, we can get the lien subordination process going before you ever get into underwriting so that it doesn't become an issue. Unfortunately, there have been a few times where I was able to get the lien subordination through quickly, but I think I can only count two times and it was when we didn't have a COVID situation. Right now, the IRS is completely understaffed and they don't have enough people to get things processed as quickly as we're used to. And remember, we always used to think they were kind of slow. Now they're really slow. So keep that in mind. Make sure that you're doing your research. And if you need any help with the lien subordination, I'm more than happy to help you, but you need to give me plenty of lead time. All right, that's pretty simple for the most part, but if you have any questions, my contact information is always on the back end. So make sure you give me a call or an email or whatever it is that you need in order to get you the information you need. All right, so next week, we're going to be talking about the minimum wage increases here in Virginia. And I know it's happening in a lot of other states. So this might actually apply to you too and how that is affecting pricing even right here at Pixel. So we'll talk to you next week. Take care.